Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Carl's Kicks. Thank everybody for tuning in. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, you're doing it wrong, hit that now. Share the videos, like the videos. Let's get into it. All right, this is going to be a pair of shoes I bought with my wife a little minute ago. Um, a pair that I still need to get for myself, which I probably will, even though I shouldn't. Um, so, yeah. Yeezy Boost. 350. All right. Label. Label read Jeezy Boost 350 V2. C black, C black, red. Eight and a half. All right. Um, yeah. So you probably know what this is. It's one of my favorite Yeezys. Got the uh, Yeezy 352 Brids. All right, now she has worn this shoe maybe once or twice, and shame on her because it looks like she did not clean it when she took it off. We got a little bit of, so I'll probably go ahead and clean these after the video. So anyway, um, Yeezy V2, Yeezy 350 V2 Brids. Right, this is one of the OGs. I think it's been released a couple times. Maybe this is the third time. This is the new release, the 2020 release. Or 2021, I mean, release that my wife got. Um, I think I paid about 470 for these shoes. Um, now, one thing you need to know about Yeezys is they run small. I suggest going a size up. Not a half size. A full size. That's the full size. Uh, yeah, shout out Complex and full size run. If y'all don't watch that, go watch that. Um, anyway, so, I mean, it's a tr traditional 350 V2 bottom. You know, the boost and the supply 350 right there. Um, really, this is what kept the 350 V2 going. You know, um, this and, you know, like the blue tints, the uh, zebras. You know, um, he, he did really good on the 350 and, you know, this silhouette, you know, is what got him where he's at and now he's changing up things and doing stuff. Now these don't have the um infinity laces. The three fifties don't. Um now it just depends. Cause I had a pair of Desert Sage three fifties and they did have the infinity uh lace system. Did they? I don't know. Um but anyway, I mean that's that's really it. It's nothing really more. Super comfortable shoe, nice shoe. Um you know, it may look a little weird to you. Once you put it on foot, I think you'll like it a lot more. You know, the stitching on the top where the shoe kind of comes together is really nice. Um, and that's that's really all we got with this shoe. Um, I just, you know, wanted to put it up on the channel because it is, it is a shoe I purchased. Um, when I get mad, I'll probably do a, a different, another review on it. Um, yeah, so now most of the shoe is this kind of scratchy material. But obviously, like on the other shoes, it's smooth right here. So it does have that, but this one is not reflective. So it's the 350 V2. And right where the supply 350 is, it's a different kind of material. It's a little smoother, if you can see that. So here's the whole shoe, and then this patch goes through it. All right, and now usually on, like, the newer ones coming out, the shoe is all black, and that patch is coming through blue, you know, to go to the toe. And then it had a supply 350 in black. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about the Yeezy 350 V2, especially the bread. I know this is a lot of people's grill. Um, the shoe came re-released, but it was hard to get, and it's definitely still expensive. It's a $500 shoe still. So let me know what you guys think about the V2 breads, the V2s in general, or just Yeezy in general. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Like, subscribe, comment. We out of here.